Now, the Singapore Airlines Group has seen passenger carriage nosedive 99.3% year on year in June, but its overall results saw a slight improvement compared to May, as flights slowly began to resume last month. In June, group passenger capacity was down by about 95%, marginally better than May's 96%. Group passenger load factor fell to about 12%, that's a drop of 74 percentage points year on year. All of this, of course, the result of border controls and travel restrictions continuing to put a dent in demand for air travel. As for SIA, capacity was 94% lower compared to last year's, with only a skeletal network in operation, connecting Singapore to 24 cities. Still, this was better than the situation in May, as transfers via Changi resumed. Regional arm Silk Air and budget carrier Scoot also saw sharp falls in passenger carriage in June. SIA Group says the recovery trajectory will be slower than initially projected. It expects this to have a material impact on revenue generation in the 2021 financial year.